A lot of questions are being asked in, in Washington and across America about what evidence you had that Qassam Soleimani was planning attacks against American targets. What can you tell us about what you knew prior to ordering the attack? Well, number one, I knew the past. His past was horrible. He was a terrorist. He was a, a, so designated by President Obama, as you know. And he wasn't even supposed to be outside of his own country. He was. So right there. Uh, but that's, in a way, the least of it. We had an attack very recently that he was in charge of, where we had people horribly wounded, one dead. In fact, the number now, as of this morning, I believe, is two dead. And uh, that was his. He was uh, traveling with the head of Hezbollah. Uh, they weren't there to discuss a vacation. They weren't there to go to a nice resort someplace in Baghdad. They were there to discuss bad business. And we saved a lot of lives by terminating his life. A lot of lives are saved. They were planning something, and uh, you're going to be hearing about it, or at least uh, various people in Congress are going to be hearing about it tomorrow. Our Secretary of State covered it very well a little while ago. I saw him. I saw his news conference, Mike. And uh, if you want to mention a couple of things in addition to what I've just said, but we had tremendous information. We've been following him for a long time, and we followed his path for those three days, and they were not good stops. We didn't like where he was stopping. They were not good stops. We saved a lot of lives. Mike? Mr. President, not only that, we had deep intelligence indicating there was active plotting that put American lives at risk. And I'm confident, I think the President's confident, too, that the actions that the President took saved American lives, saved lives of Iraqi Muslims as well. It was the right thing to do, and uh, our Department of Defense did an excellent job executing the mission. And, Mr. President, and as you know, he killed at least 608 Americans, but the number is much higher than that. He's also very much roadside bombs and all of the horrible explosives that you see. He was a big believer and sent them everywhere. Uh, he was somebody that uh, we did ourselves, that we did a lot of countries a big favor. And I've been, I've been hearing from countries, uh, they were extremely happy with what we did. And if you look inside Iran itself, there were plenty of those leaders that were happy because they feared him and didn't like him in many cases. Could, could you also clear up, Mr. President, whether Iranian cultural sites would be on any future target list? Well, as I said yesterday, it was very interesting. Uh, they're allowed to kill our people. They're allowed to maim our people. They're allowed to blow up everything that we have, and there's nothing that stops them. And we are according to uh, various laws, uh, supposed to uh, be very careful with their cultural heritage. And you know what? If that's what the law is, I, w I like to obey the law. But think of it. They kill our people. They blow up our people. Then we have to be very gentle with their cultural institutions. But I'm OK with it. It's OK with me. I will say this. If Iran does anything that they shouldn't be doing, they're going to be suffering the consequences, and very strongly. All right, Steve. Well, don't forget, uh, in our case, it was retaliation, because they were there first. They killed, and look, I don't have to talk about him for 18 to 20 years. He was a monster. But just in the very short period of time, two people dead, people badly injured, and then before that, there were other attacks. And look at what he was planning. So that'll be discussed tomorrow morning. Right now, it's classified. And that'll be discussed tomorrow with Mike Pompeo and the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Is this the U.S. prepared for an Iranian attack? We're prepared. We're totally prepared. And likewise, we're prepared to attack if we have to, as retribution. Mr. President, if, if Iran's leader said that any uh, response to the Soleimani uh, killing would be, quote, proportional. Uh, what would the United States do in the event of any Iranian? <laughs> so, again, John, if you look at what's going on, ours was a, an attack based on what they did. We weren't the first one out. He killed an American. Now two people are dead from the same attack, and some people very badly wounded. And that was one of his smaller endeavors. You look over his past. His past, he's been called a monster, and he was a monster. And he's no longer a monster. He's dead. And that's a good thing for a lot of countries. And he was planning a very big attack and a very bad attack for us and other people. And we stopped him.
And I don't think anybody can complain about it. I don't hear too many people other than politicians who are trying to win the presidency. Those are the ones that are complaining, but I don't hear anybody else complaining. Mr. Go ahead. President, Mr. You called him a monster, but your friend Erdogan called him a Nazi. What well, nice? that's everybody to each his own. I mean, I disagree 100 percent, and I'm sure he does too, but he has a public to take care of, and I guess that's for his own reason. But I'm actually surprised to hear that, but that's okay.